So hey guys, welcome back to week five. I'm actually in the middle of filming another video. I'm doing a foundation review, but I need an intro for this week's video. So unfortunately, coming home from the Bahamas, I picked up a respiratory infection. We had two planes, two airports, and I just must have picked something up along the way. And unfortunately, I'm unable to work out this week. To be honest, I feel like death and there's just no way I'm actually going to want to do any sort of aerobic workout. <coughs> So I did gain some weight while we were in the Bahamas. You saw in my previous videos, we had ice cream, we ate at Wendy's, we had cocktails when we were out and about. That's the whole point of going away. I want to enjoy my vacation. So now my food has to be more clean. So I usually live more of a keto diet anyway. So for the next few weeks, I will be pulling out all sugar, all carb to help bring my weight back down and sort of get me where I want to be. So for this week, I thought I would show you guys what I've been eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is a quick and easy, low carb, high protein breakfast. I start with heating up a small fry pan on medium, quick spray of pan, add a handful of washed spinach, salt and pepper, quick saute until the spinach is wilted, then transfer to a plate. Another quick spray of pan, add one egg to the pan, add some more pepper, cover while cooking. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna make a quick and easy pico de gallo. I bought this handy chopper off Amazon to help with the veggie prep. So these are the ingredients I use for my pico de gallo. I finely diced all vegetables and combined them. Added salt and lime juice. Mix together and let sit to intensify the flavors. So I place the medium fried egg onto the wilted spinach, spoon on some pico de gallo, lightly grate some hard cheddar on top. The runny yolk gets soaked up by the spinach, which is rich in iron, vitamin C and E, potassium and magnesium, and a great source of fiber. This is my take on the Ghana salad that you see all over TikTok. I'm starting off with finely slicing green cabbage, then finely dicing Brussels sprouts, peppers, cucumbers, and goat feta cheese. I would recommend using a knife to cut the feta. As you can see, I had great difficulty using the chopper. Next is the dressing. I add plain Greek yogurt to a food processor, add one clove of garlic, add one green onion, zest of a lemon, lemon juice, a squirt of Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, and a handful of washed spinach. I pulsed it, then added some olive oil, and then I combined it until it became smooth and creamy. I assemble the chopped vegetables, then add half an avocado, top with some protein. Today I chose a hard boiled egg. The salad is high in protein from the yogurt, feta, and eggs, but low in sugar and carbs, and it keeps you feeling full all day. For dinner, I'm making another HelloFresh meal. Today it's gonna be thyme chicken, garlic mash, and roasted zucchini. I start out with the veggie prep first. I'm using my mandolin to cut the zucchini uniformly so it cuts down on my prep time and my cook time. Then I roughly dice the potatoes. Finely chop the garlic. Then remove thyme leaves from the stems. I won't be eating the potatoes because they are a starchy carb. Instead, I'm gonna cut some Brussels sprouts in half, thinly slice some red onion, add salt and pepper, and some olive oil, and lightly mix together. So then I pat dry the chicken on a separate cutting board Sprinkle half of the spice blend over the chicken and add the thyme leaves. I spray the zucchini on a parchment lined cookie sheet, add salt and pepper, and some olive oil and mix together. On high heat, I place the potatoes in a pot and cover with water. Add salt, cover and let cook. 
Next, I'm going to fry the chicken. So I'm going to take a fry pan on medium to high heat, then add the olive oil. And to test to see if it's hot enough, I place the handle of a wooden spoon in the oil. If bubbles start to form around the spoon, then the oil is ready for frying. I add both chicken breasts, let cook until golden brown, then flip onto the other side. Remove them from the pan and add to the cookie sheet with the zucchini. Place cookie sheet and Brussels sprouts in the oven. While the chicken and veg are cooking, I add butter, salt and pepper, plain Greek yogurt, and half the garlic to the potatoes and mash. So I'm gonna return the fry pan to the heat, add onions, salt and pepper. Then I add the packet of broth concentrate. Continue to saute until golden brown. I start with my thyme chicken breast, Brussels sprouts, and I'm gonna grate some cheese on top. Sauteed onions over top of the chicken, and then the cooked zucchini. This meal is high in protein, loaded with cruciferous vegetables, which are high in vitamin K, vitamin C, and have a unique component of phytonutrient can help decrease stomach fat. Tip of the week, add into your routine two 16 ounce cups of decaffeinated sugar-free green tea per day. Green tea is loaded with antioxidants. It helps with digestion, supports brain function, and helps boost the metabolism. Do you play it safe or are you just a player, baby? Cause I need to know if your love's exclusive, if your mouth and heart's See you next Saturday. Need to know for sure.